We'll be looking at circle geometry, focusing on what problems that involve area and circumference. First, we're going to review what a circumference is, what area is, and then we'll go ahead and deal with some word problems. So the circumference is the distance around a circle. It also represents the boundaries of the circle. This is also seen or you can describe this as the perimeter of the circle. The area is the size of the, sub, of the surface of an object, in this case, a circle. A dime has a radius of eight and a half millimeters. Find the circumference of the dime in terms of pi. So as a habit, draw a circle or draw something to visualize what you're trying to deal with so it's easier it's easy to see what you're trying to get at so I'm going to make an attempt to draw a circle okay not a good circle so we have this the center the radius is the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circumference which is on the boundary of the circle so this is 8.5 now we want to find the circumference the circumference is 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by radius and here we're told to leave the answer in terms of pi so this is going to be 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 8.5 so this is going to give us 17 pi milli a drum head has a diameter of 24 inches. How much material is required to cover the surface of the drum head? So we'll try draw a circle again. So this is the center of the circle. I assume it's a perfect circle. And we have a diameter. The diameter is 24 inches. And we want to cover the surface. We want to cover this surface. So the surface is the area. So area is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared. The, rad the diameter is twice the radius. So let's find the radius first. Radius r is 24 divided by 2 which is going to be 12 inches. So the area is going to be pi multiplied by 12 squared, which is 144 pi square inches. Now we're going to multiply 144 by pi. So using a calculator, 144 multiplied by pi this is going to give us about 452.39 so this is 452.39 square inches of material and if we want to round it I would say roughly about 452.4 square inches. So next question, Sandra wants to install new anti-odor carpet in her dog's kennel. The kennel has a diameter of 35 feet. If the cost of the carpet is $7.50 per pi square foot, what will be the total cost to carpet Sandra's dog kennel? Okay, so let's draw a diagram of a attempt at a circle. All right, so this is 35 feet right here, 35 feet. And we want to cover the surface. So covering the surface just hints at area. So area is pi r squared 
we need to get the radius here the radius r is 35 feet divided by 2 now we want to get the area of the surface that we need to carpet so the area here is going to be pi times 35 over 2 squared which is going to give us 1 2 2 5 over 4 pi square foot so what we're told here is that it's seven dollar fifty cents per pi square foot and uh, so we have let's do that here pi square foot one pi square foot is seven dollar fifty cents and then one two two five over four pi square foot is going to be 750 per square foot per pi square foot multiplied by 1225 pi over 4 square foot so let's multiply this through we have 1225 divided by 4 times 750 so we have 2296.88 so this is going to give us 2296.88 so it's going to cost $2296.88 to carpet the dog's kennel. Wow, that's an expensive dog. So a bicycle wheel has a diameter of 28 inches. So we have a bicycle wheel. So that's a circle right there. It has a diameter of 28 inches. Okay. How many complete revolutions are required for the bicycle wheel to make up a distance of 200 yards? All right, so it's revolution, so it's a distance around. So let's look at circumference is two times pi times radius, or we can say pi times diameter. So the circumference here is going to be 28 times pi, which is going to be equal to 28 pi now we want to find out this is one revolution so 28 pi inches gives us one revolution now we want to find out how many revolutions in 200 yards so the first thing we're going to do with 200 yards is convert that to inches we're told that 36 inches make up one yard so 200 yards that's going to be equal to 200 times 36 inches which is 7200 inches so now we want to find out how many revolutions there are in 7200 inches so let's write our statement again 28 inches 28 pi inches will give us one revolution then we want to find out how many revolutions in 7200 inches so this is going to be 1 over 28 pi multiplied by 7200 so we have 7200 divided by 28 times pi which is equal to 81.8 revolutions and so to complete 200 yards we need to make sure we have 82 revolutions